Okay, so now I'm about to start my work sets. There's a couple of points I really want to get across on, on what I'm doing to my body prior to the lift. So I'm, I am pre-stretching and I, and I am banging the bar against my chest, which starts to help to preload and tense the scapula. I, I turn my hands and I make sure that this corner of the hand is touching the bar. If you've read those Dragon Door books that says the best way to do a push-up is to make sure that this little area right here is what's actually pushing from the ground. That's what I'm doing. I am turning my hands and aligning that bone to be touching the bar. I need to have that, that type of contact. When, when I bring the bar and I'm pushing it up against the traps, I, I pull the bar into my back and my whole back is tense. And the other thing is you'll see that my, my uh, elbows roll in. When I was in Honduras giving one of these seminars, uh, one of the body editors said that he didn't have the flexibility to do this, that he could only hold the bar like this. And part of the reason for that is that, because if you never practice this move and if you never do joint mobility, yeah, absolutely, you can't. So he could only do a squat like this. But it's important for what I'm, what I'm teaching you to do here, especially since, you know, it's just for lifting heavy weight properly as a therapy and as a way to boost your testosterone naturally. So proper body position, again, you'll see that once I get my position, I kind of roll my uh, elbows in. Once I have that full body tension, again, and I feel the bar securely against my traps, that's when I pretense my whole body, which allows me to step back, and then I'm gonna do the squat like I did in the warm up and like I did here. And another point I wanna make is, I'm only going down till I feel the stretch reflex kick in. What does this mean? If you're aware of your body, you will notice that there's a point in the squat where you're going down, 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 stretching. And again, I'm imagining I'm, I'm pulling the floor apart. And there's a certain point in time when you feel it wants to snap back up. What I am doing is I, the minute I feel that, I ride that back up. So since I'm about to start, what you'll notice is I'm probably not gonna go all the way down. Maybe by the 10th rep, then, you know, I am going to get a little bit lower. The way I'm approaching this is one perfect rep, and then I rest for one minute. So I do 10 uh, sets of squat in this rest, pause fashion. One perfect rep, rest one minute, and do it again. Now that I've gotten those pointers out of the way, now you can see me implement them, and here goes uh, the squat. So again, one perfect rep, and then I'm gonna rest for one minute. So again, Ten times, that's the workout. 